In the hills above the lower Columbia River in northern Oregon lies a modest grave of a husband and wife, both immigrants from Finland. This is the Stewart Creek Cemetery in Klatskany, Oregon, and we're visiting the grave of Leina Pentila. But when she immigrated to the United States from Uvascula, Finland, her name was Leina Heikinen. She immigrated and moved to New York in 1907, working as a maid, but returned to her home in Finland in either late 1911 or early 1912 to visit family, attempting unsuccessfully to convince her sister Tina to come to America with her. Traveling as a part of a larger group, she left Finland in April, making her long journey back to the United States. She sailed aboard the Polaris from Finland to Copenhagen, Denmark, and then to Hull, England. A train from Hull to Southampton, likely via London, where she was to board one of the several steamers laid up due to the famous coal strike. She was transferred instead to the Titanic as a third-class passenger departing on April 10, 1912. She was a reserved girl of 26 years old, recalling the heavy drinking and partying that went on in third class, and said that honestly she didn't care much for it. Just past midnight on April 15th, there was talk of an iceberg and a frantic commotion in the corridor just outside of her cabin waking her up. Sensing danger, she dressed herself in layers, anticipating the cold of the night, and then moved up to the boat deck. It was about half past one when Lena was put into a lifeboat. She later recalled to her family a man who snuck aboard her lifeboat when only women and children were permitted, but gave no other known information about her rescue. We can't say with any degree of certainty, but it's possible that she was saved in lifeboat 10, leaving Titanic's port side around 1.45 a.m. Lena would not have been terribly far from the Titanic when it finally foundered, but whether she watched the ship's final moments or looked away is a mystery to us. Her boat drifted for about six hours until finally being picked up by the Carpathia in the morning. After the disaster, she moved to Astoria, Oregon, before moving to Portland, where she married a fellow Finn named Jakob Pantila. She apparently received a fairly substantial financial settlement from the White Star Line or the IMM as a result of the Titanic, as she and her husband were able to purchase a home using the funds in Klatskany, Oregon, where she lived out her days. Lena never learned to speak English, and continued to be haunted by the Titanic disaster, with her daughter later recalling how Lena would cry in her sleep. Lena died on September 9, 1943 of cerebral palsy, buried alongside her husband, who died four years prior. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the Titanic International Society on both YouTube and in their membership at the link listed in the description below.